Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a casting slip porcelain piece. Uh, so typically I do a lot of different types of clay but um, a lot of times I will make these slip cast pieces as well. And the beauty, this is porcelain, the beauty of doing a uh, casting slip is that you can get it super super thin. Um, and they are still really pretty strong. This is another one. And I was really fortunate I learned how to do this at Kohler where they make toilets and sinks. So um, it was a great place to learn. But you can do it in your own studio. Uh, what I typically use is, it's from Standard Ceramics. I use this uh, porcelain, it's like cone five, cone six. So it's mid-range higher. And you pour it in your bucket here. And whenever you, you want to mix it up really good. And the cool thing about casting slip is it's in this liquid form that I'm going to show you. It does this webbing. Let me see if I can show you. And so believe it or not, it looks like it's in this liquid form. This has less water in it than actual clay because it has what's called a defoculant in it. And so what that does is it changes the polarity of the particles, um, the porcelain particles, and they kind of slip off of each other. So that's how it gets in the liquid form. Because you usually see clay, you see it in this form. So it's really cool to think that this actually has uh, this has more water in it than this. So anyway, um, you can make molds, you can purchase molds. I'm going to use two purchase molds here. Um, and sometimes they can be complicated. Um, this one is a pretty simple mold. Um, it's a two-piece mold. And what you're going to do, you put it together uh, just by using rubber bands. So, And you can even use old tire uh, tube tube tires, which I don't even know if they make tube tires <laughs> anymore, but you can cut them and make these big rubber bands that you use to put around. So I would put it around. I have one here that I did the, I have it already. So you can see this one I've had trouble with in the past. This is a large vase. Um, so I put a lot of rubber bands on it. And I also put clay on all the edges to make sure it doesn't bust out because it really stinks whenever you're pouring casting slip and it breaks on you. So hopefully it doesn't do that here today, but you will see. Um, so I also always put plastic down on the floor because when it does um, bust out, if it does bust, uh, you don't want to have casting slip all over your floor. So once I've mixed my casting slip, I'm going to go ahead and pour it in so we will see if this works. Hopefully it doesn't break. And you want to kind of go slowly. They do make casting tables and actually what's right beside me is a slip casting table that's supposed to make it easier but I just for some reason like just doing it this old school way. So I pour it in. Okay. So I got it pulled in, and then now I would typically wait about, um, for these, I like them thin, so I like it about 10, 15 minutes. Um, for a toilet, if I was making a toilet, you would leave it in for 45 minutes. So it's much quicker, um, and then we will dump it. So thank you so much. Okay, so I've waited about 10 minutes and it looks like it's a good time to pour. You can also test it by leaving a drop on the outside of the plaster to see the thickness. Um, and if it's the thickness you want, whenever it's completely dry, then it's a good time to go ahead and pour it. Um, so the plaster, what happens is it's just sucking out all the water that's in the casting slip and it's leaving a thin shell on the inside of the plaster mold. So in order to dump it, what I'm going to do is I like to have a board or something or even a stick that I put over my bucket. And then that helps that I could dump it upside down. And I'm going to take my mold and dumping. 
And you want to kind of go slowly because if you do it too fast, what happens is you don't want, if it glubs on the side, it'll do that glub thing. <laughs> what happens is it pulls away from the wall. So I'm kind of turning it and you can kind of rotate you can do it directly upside down on the plastic and then it just um, ends up on the plastic, but this way it can serve some of the, um, some of the, the casting slip. So what will happen I'll, tomorrow, I usually just wait until the next day um, and then I'll go ahead and take it out of the mold, which I will show you that video tomorrow. So thank you so much and have a lovely evening. Take care. Bye.